Until very recently, they were trying to kill each other. Now two ethnic Karen armies, once sworn enemies, are putting tensions aside and joining forces against the Myanmar military. These pictures obtained by Al Jazeera show the Democratic Karen Buddhist Army and the Karen National Liberation Army on patrol together, living in the same camp under a fragile alliance formed in response to the tense situation on the border with Thailand. After Myanmar's elections last Sunday, clashes broke out between DKBA troops led by Colonel Saw La Pue and government forces who have been trying to convert them into a border guard force. They have now joined the KNLA troops and are jointly preparing to fend off more attacks. Uh, with the uh, combination of DKB and KNLA together, we have more strength and more solid. And then we can, uh, I think we have so many ways to crush them. It doesn't bode well for those living in the border region. 20,000 refugees flooded into Thailand earlier this week when fighting broke out. Although most have gone back across the border for now, the situation remains tense. The guns have fallen silent on this part of the border for now, but ethnic armies are preparing to be pushed out by government forces once Myanmar's new parliament sits. If that happens, refugees will once again be driven across this river into Thailand. The election was hardly noticed by the rebel ethnic armies who for decades have fought the government and each other for autonomy. They'll be more discontent uh, all over the country and there will be mass movement there will be ethnic resistance will continue as the same regime is poised to take power in Naypyidaw, the ethnic armies are consolidating their positions in post-election Myanmar. Peace remains unlikely after a poll which has fanned the flames of war. Ella Callan, Al Jazeera on the Thai-Myanmar border.